Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Okay, we're going to do your healing messages, what you need to hear from source in order to heal yourself spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, sexually, financially. But remember, when I do these readings, it whatever it's whatever comes out, okay? Um, these readings are timeless. Whenever you find yourself looking at these videos, that means your spirit guides led you to watch it. Even if it was just for 10 seconds to a minute, you got some bit of information taken with you, right? Cool. Now, welcome subscribers, non-subscribers, cross-watching the like to original. Lady Eve Elements Tarot, LLC. Now, I'm trying to keep this up here. Damn thing, been that full. Okay, so <laughs> let's see what the universe has in store for you as far as your healing is concerned. Hold on a second. Here we go. As far as your healing is concerned, we're going to get into these messages with no time to waste, right, collective? We are on our journey to healing. We are in the process of healing or we have yet to begin to heal. Whatever that is, whatever that means to any of all of y'all out there in the collective. Right? Okay, so let's get some messages. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Now some or all of these messages may resonate with some or all of you. Take it how it resonates. Oh, I hate saying take it how it resonates. Look, if you feel energetically drawn to these messages, click that like button. Like this video. Donate to the channel. Support the channel. Subscribe, like, share, and comment to Original Lady Eve Elements to LLC. We have officially hit a thousand subscribers plus one thousand plus subscribers. I have a goal in mind to reach at least half the planet with these truthful messages. I'm not gonna burden people with stories and made up nonsense. Now, I done been through some things in my life, but to me, I will create another channel for that. I would not want to put what goes on with me personally and peg that onto you as an audience. Why? Because it's projection. And I'm not going to project. Now, although most people may say, well, that's not projecting. It actually happened to me. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Okay, fine. It actually happened to you. So some people on this planet have things that has occurred to them in their lives that are similar to others on this planet. I mean, we are the collective, right? But at any other given point in time, some things that have panned out over the course of time with others is clearly irrelevant to others. So it's not going to resonate all the time, okay? Again, be wary of when you're listening to readers including on myself, but me personally, I don't project. I don't believe in projecting any energy, negative or positive, onto anybody. I believe to each his own. One should hold their own energy within oneself and keep it so. Projection will get rejection, <laughs> which will lead to God's protection. Okay. Now, let's get it popping. Okay, so Holy Spirit. What messages of healing, sexually, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, communication, mind, heart, body, soul, spirit, and blood, does the collective need to hear in order for them to heal? Now, I'm not going to say take it with a grain of salt. I'm going to say take it with a band-aid because you need that sucker ripped right the fuck off. Excuse my language. I know it's probably messing with my algorithms. I don't care because I got other platforms. These messages, these very same messages can come out on. 
So, with that being said, we're going to look into what messages the collective wants to tell you. It's the title card. So, the collective wants you to put yourself first, all right? Be number one in your own life. Start focusing on you. Put yourself first. This has been, I kid you not, this has been this is the very same message for the last 30 days. That source is trying to get the collective to understand that you must love yourself. You must put yourself first. No, you're not being selfish, right? Who's going to sit there and take care of your children if you're a single parent, mother or father, when you're deceased and dead due to some form of illness formed in your body due to stress because you weren't taking care of yourself, right? Okay, it, it, self-love, self-care goes far beyond just getting a mani-pedi and going on a vacation or a mini vacay and taking a cruise to the Bahamas and just... You know, whatever you think it may be. It goes far beyond that. It's way far beyond that. You can't take care of yourself in the physical. You'll never be able to take... I mean, excuse me. If you cannot take care of yourself in the spiritual, you'll never be able to take care of yourself in the physical, emotional, or mental, as well as financial. So you have to hit every corner, every side pocket of yourself to take care of yourself. Okay, what messages do you have for the collective, Yeshua, universe, ancestral guides of everybody on this planet? What messages do y'all want to say to the collective? Hmm. What is this? <laughs> detox with that color orange here orange emanates success it means success some of y'all will have a successful detox in your life okay this also will be to me the, the devil card in the reverse releasing yourself from toxic people places and things that no longer serve your highest good some of you are in the course of doing this some of you have yet to begin that journey to do this but either way some of you could also be detoxing your body, cleansing your mind, body, and spirit. You also detoxing, taking um, detox liquid, detox pills, detox tea. Some of you are dieting. I'm getting a hint that you're dieting. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole. And throw some shit out. They should if you have to. I don't know. But detox. Get rid of things that don't serve your highest good. The universe been saying that for 30 days as well. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Okay, so you need to detox. Okay, if this is dealing with love and you haven't been being if and you have not been being treated fairly in this relationship, it's time to let go. Whether you got kids by this person, whether you're married to this person, it's not serving your highest good. You have to look at things from a higher perspective, from a higher knowledge, a higher intelligence. Let's look at, at things for what they truly are. Take those rose-colored glasses off of you and realize this situation does not suit you. It's not good for you. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. Once you focus on you and you clear out that negative energy and you cleanse out your space, you will begin to start to you will begin to start your journey towards self-love and self-care. Now once you begin that journey, you are now starting to realign yourself with love, love for self. Now you will start to gain back 
your confidence, your dignity, your pride, your true essence, the purity of who you once were, okay? Once that occurs, your path is cleared, okay? So clear direction is presented to me. Now you will know the true journey that you are meant to be on. See, because some of you, your mind is too cluttered with thinking about other people and thinking about things that they have done to you, all the wrongs, and you, you're, you're, you're cleaning out that file cabinet, which you call your mind, your brain, your thoughts. Clear your thoughts. Throw some shit out. That includes those bad thoughts of, of past memories of people doing you wrong. Okay, it's it's what's said and done. Now, the first way to clear this out is think first. What have you learned from this, right? Once you figured out that lesson of why people were doing certain things to you that they knew they were doing, and you cleared these people out of your lives, family, coworkers, so-called frenemies, because they're not really your friend, they were talking shit behind your back, uh, all of what have yous, okay? Once you clear that out and figured out the lesson that you needed to learn, your path, your direction, your journey in this realm that we call 3D Earth is now clear. You will get a clear definition of your path in this life, your journey in this life, okay? You have a mission to complete in this realm. You're not able to complete it because you have a lot of clutter, bad clutter, negative energy that's negatively impacting all areas of your life. Throw some shit out. What else? What other healing messages does the collective need to learn? This is pink from the universe, which is pure unadulterated natural love you are loved you are here for a reason did not i tell you this don't fuck it up that means don't go back to the past i mean everybody got free will but this is the universe letting you know don't go back to the past because if you do you're gonna you will fuck this journey up and you will be discombobulated all over again confused all over again thrown off your path all over again and you're back at square one we don't want that you don't want that your life is way more precious okay especially if you have children you are setting an example even if you came out of say you had a domestic violence situation for those out there and my sympathies i've been through the same okay i have Rihanna has been through domestic violence. So many women have been through domestic violence. But I'm going to tell you what. Throw some shit out. Clear that shit up. You're here for a reason. You have a mission. Do not thwart your mission. Don't fuck it up. You're already loved. You're loved by your spirit guides, your ancestors, your animal totems. Okay? Your ancestral animal guides as well. But you are most beloved by source, by Yeshua, by Asherah, by God himself. Once you take the initiative, yourself collective, to get back up and dust yourself off, God is making a way, a clear direction, which will be presented to you. The moment you realign yourself with love, okay? You're here for a reason. You are loved already. Don't fuck it up. Do not fuck it up. What other messages for healing for the collective? Go exercise. Go out, exercise. Do something that you haven't done before. If some of y'all wrote a bucket list, no man. But if some of y'all have a list of things you never did, and even if you didn't have a list, but you have a list in your mind's eye, in your thoughts of what you always wanted to do but never did, that will make you extremely happy. I mean, happy in the most genuine form of happiness. Do it. If you never went on a roller coaster ride, do it. 
If you never swim with the dolphins, do it. Okay? Do it. Go by the ocean, go swim. If you don't swim, take swimming lessons. But do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Okay? And just put in your mind's eye that you don't have to deal with anyone's negativity today. Not ever. Block, or shall I say delete block. You don't have to put up with anybody. That includes if it's your baby mama or baby daddy. So what you got kids by them? The only thing they need to do is co-parent and send money for children. They do not need to be in your space whatsoever. They don't need to be in your space. For what reason? Y'all standing here looking at each other. One person negative, one person positive. Now the negative person has shrouded out the positive energy of the other person because they're constantly around them. And now y'all both negative. And now your growth is stunted. And now your children's growth is stunted because that trickles down. It's a trickle-down effect, honey. Because the kids see you not being happy. Now when they grow up, they're going to be in the same type of relationship. Whether you have a son, whether you have a daughter. Because they're watching. Set the, set the example. Set the example. You're here for a reason. You have a mission to complete. Your mission possibly could be to help others. To guide others through what you already been through. Okay? Some of you have a mission here to teach others. It don't always have to be spiritual teaching. It could be regular teaching. It could be life lessons. It could be just the thought of um, you may have a cousin in your family or you may have a friend down the block or your child may be in high school and they have a friend. And they're dealing with something like um, some form of um, abuse, whether from their parents or from who they're dating. And you may have been through this collective growing up. You're able to spot the signs and symptoms of this abuse that this other person is having. And you're able to not intercede or intervene, but, you know, how about a little bit with thoughts of wisdom and pray that, you know, they follow through on those little thoughts of wisdom that you tell them. Okay? Don't have to be a full-blown on, sit down and let's talk. And, because then it looks like you're taking over and trying to control that person and their free will. We don't want to do that. We just want to give them little tidbits of information. Even tell your story of how you used to win through things of abuse and stuff like that. Maybe they'll catch the hint and, you know, drop that person that they... Are being abused by it, that's just an example okay now this one says take a fucking trip it's in pink as well which means you should be loving on yourself as we're speaking go see some shit do some new things didn't i tell you that bucket list do some new things talk to people cooler than you some of y'all may not have friends to talk to you may be in a new neighborhood new area and you have relocated you don't know somebody start talking you don't have to wait for people to make the first move to start talking. You know, it's a simple, hi, how are you? You know, if you go grocery shopping and there's a stranger in the aisle, um, have you seen this soup? Is this soup good? How does this taste? Oh, really? You haven't tasted it yet? Start a conversation. Spark some shit up. Take a fucking trip, even if it's to the laundromat. <laughs> Burger King, okay? Take a cruise, take a vacation, all right? Go go somewhere, do something, all right? What is this one? This is one fell out with this one. It says eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. This is talk, this talks about, gives me the energy of you collective switching up some things now some of y'all a little stubborn i know you don't go on a diet and eat just grass which we call lettuce i know <laughs> but you you need to eat some things that are made naturally and organic at least okay but definitely more vegetables in your diet all right this will align your chakras as well so make sure when you're eating your vegetables this is a form of healing as well the way you eat and consume, drinking, eating, whatever. Whatever you're eating, whatever you're consuming, 
drinks to food. That has a lot to do with your healing process inside your body, okay? You may be eating some things that's making you gaseous. Cut it down to a minimum. You may be eating some greasy foods. Cut out all the grease and switch up to, um, what is it, grapeseed oil or olive oil, lighter oils, okay? For example, instead of eating sugar or putting sugar in everything, examples for for uh, example, coffee, tea, whatever. Switch to either brown sugar or um, stevia, or what you can do is for your tea, switch to honey, okay? It has a lot to do with your healing, your growth within healing as well, all right? This is how you heal yourself. Watch what you consume. Watch the calories that you eat. Watch the foods that you consume and eat. Also, drink a lot of water. And if you're the type that don't like water, that's fine. You can, um, I wouldn't advise people to actually keep drinking pH balance, alkaline water has salt in it, and it will give you high blood pressure and diabetes. But I will say this, drink mountain water. Poland Springs is mountain water, okay, if I'm not mistaken. But drink plenty of water, like I said before. If you don't drink water, switch to flavored water, okay? Switch to flavored water. Let me see if I can get something in here with regards to health care. What is this? Yeah, clarity infusion. We got a spell for you. Clarity infusion. Because when you're not healing in the proper sense, you tend to become disarray, confused, discombobulated, right? I'm going to read it, and I'm going to read it as slow as I can, and I'm going to close out this reading. Okay, it says, I recommend growing a pot of hearty sage. So you can always clear energy and increase your psychic potential. Another useful herb is mint, which comes from the Latin menta and literally means thought. Women into a uh, woven into a crown, it bestows brilliance, artistic inspiration, and prophetic ability. Burned, it is especially potent. Here is a wonderfully simple tool. For awakening the mind and attuning to the high powers. Take dried mint stalks and dried sage in equal parts and roll together into a wand. Bind with multicolored string and before any ritual, tarot reading, or spell crafting. This is for you tarot readers out there who's listening. Smudge your house with the wand by lighting the leafy end and passing the smoke around. This will purify your space. Clarity infusion. Okay. Cleanse your space. This is also part of your healing process. Cleanse your space. Okay. You need to cleanse. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me get one card from Tarot for the collective for their healing, what they need to know, what they need to do for healing. We already know for the healing factor, using the air element, sage yourself, okay? You're going to bind mint, equal parts of mint, equal parts of sage together with a string or whatever. You're going to bind it together. You can even burn it loosely. There's plenty of ways of burning it, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles reversed with the Ten of Cups reversed. With regards to your healing, because I see some of you collective are not happy because you feel like your finances are blocked. All right? So definitely you need financial healing. Let me see something. Something to do with your finances. Something has stopped for you. Hmm. 
some of you give me a second what does the collective need to do because i see there's trouble coming around for some of you with uh there's a third party that's messing around in your finances trying to block you to create you having an unhappy home this third party could be for most of you someone that you divorced or someone that has left the home or you have left their home Okay, if they left you, they left you for a third party, and it could be this third party that is trying to block your finances, creating an unhealthy imbalance in your finances. But you needn't worry. Source says you don't need to worry about this. Ten of Wands reverse. I suggest you clear your energy, eat right. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. Yeah, unfriend that asshole, because that asshole left the house for a third party, leaving you heartbroken. You could also, because your heart chakra could be closed, you could also be blocking your own finances. For some of you out there, if this has nothing to do with a third party and everything to do with someone just breaking up with you, or you broke up with someone, or y'all both broke up with each other. There's a balance coming back in to this, okay? For some of you, you need to burn the St. Michael's candle. Okay, Spirit is saying don't worry about this. There's healing coming towards you. All right? There's healing coming towards you. All right? You're going to be able to see through the fog with this. Seven of Cups reverse. And then we got the Hierophant. Okay, some of you could be a Taurus out there that's dealing with this and you're feel your finances are blocked nothing's moving forward for you and you're very discontent okay um especially if you're a male out here and you're feeling this way because if this has to do with a divorce you have to pay money for child support and alimony as well okay to a queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces sun moon or rising they can have it in okay but don't worry. Source, Yeshua, God is saying not to worry. Archangel Michael is here to bring about a balance. All right. It's just up ahead, this balance that's coming in. Again, it's in divine timing here. You're able to see clearly through the fog, okay? You know that it's two people involved in this. Okay? But you're going to be sitting pretty anyway. You're going to be sitting pretty anyway. Someone from your past is definitely very jealous of you. You could be a high priestess. Pisces energy. But the person from your past could be a queen of cups. This is giving me strong cancer energy, but cancer, Scorpio Pisces nonetheless. Someone from the past is very jealous. What, every time they have good thoughts, they get bad thoughts. This person is not right in their mind whatsoever they like to lie a lot okay but you spirit wants you to cleanse your space cleanse your mind cleanse your body cleanse your energy okay if you have to get the chakra candles to do so with that being said this is your reading